that you want to see is brown. And brown reminds me of chocolate. Have you ever eaten a chocolate? Yes. What is the color of chocolate? Yes. It's brown in color. So whenever I see brown, it reminds me that without Jesus, I am nobody. So the chocolate that you know, without the outer core, the chocolate part of it, is just a shell. So even us, without Jesus Christ, we are just, we are, we are no. Hello? Happy Sabbath. Yes, so without Jesus, we are nobody. Be like Jesus, this is still what to tell us. So when you see the brown color, it reminds you that without Jesus, you are nobody. So it's your turn, it's your chance to welcome Jesus in your life. The last color is green. Green. Have you named some of the things that are green in color? Plants. Green vegetables. So wherever I see the green color found in Joseph's coat of many colors, it reminds me of life. But I need to grow in Christ every day. I need to grow in Christ every day. It also reminds me of the FDA belief number 11, which says, which says, yes, yeah, so wherever you see green color in Joseph's coat of many colors, it reminded Joseph that he needed to grow in Christ each and every day. So have you learned something? Yes. Purple. What have you said about purple? Loyalty. Yes, purple means loyalty. It means royalty. Not loyalty, but royalty. The other color was? The other color was red. Red reminds us of? blood that was shed in Calvary. Then green reminds us to grow in Christ each and every day. Because of time, to Tapika Hapo, then to Malizie Namaundi. May God bless you so much. Amen. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord Almighty, for this hour. And thank you for the wonderful lesson that we have had through Joseph's coat of many colors. Thank you because through this color you have a meaning that you have passed to us this day. Help us to live a life like the life of Joseph, for we pray in the mighty name of Christ Jesus our Savior. Amen. Amen.